So Elon Musk is no longer the richest man in the world, which makes sense considering that Tesla stock has been getting slaughtered like a pig. Now here's the thing guys, here is the thing. When life gives you slaughtered pigs, you go out and make bacon. Oh no! Now me personally, I don't indulge in bacon anymore. It's not really that good for you, but what I'm trying to say is something that I called out in the Push and Profit private group a while ago is that while Tesla stock is a great company long term, right now is a great opportunity to exploit the downtrend and profit from shorting Tesla. In the short term, yes, things can change rapidly. However, the economic data is showing us that things are not looking good. And so in this video, I want to point out out a few things that I think we absolutely have to pay attention to, especially if you're looking into trading Tesla. Now, the Federal Reserve has stated that a recession is still possible to avoid because the unemployment rate is still low and a robust job market would avoid a crash. It would stifle that from happening. However, guys, there's a few things I want to point out. Number one, people don't start losing their jobs until a year after financial conditions tighten, which is something that City pointed out. So what that means is that when the feds raise interest rates to cool down inflation and slow down the economy, we don't feel the impact of that until a year later. And once people start losing their jobs, that's when we absolutely feel the recession. We're in a recession. If it happens, we'll deal with it. Now, the second thing I want to mention is that, yes, the Federal Reserve did say that avoiding a recession is still possible, but I want to ask you guys something, and this, this is a real question. Do you guys want to put 100% of your faith into the Federal Reserve? I mean, these are the same people, keep in mind, that a year ago said inflation was transitory and then later on started saying, oh, well, I guess we're wrong, right? So I'm not saying that they're liars, but what I'm saying is you have to take what the Federal Reserve says with a grain of salt. And the reason I say this is because you're not going to have Jerome Powell or anyone from the Federal Reserve come out and say, oh my gosh, things are looking crazy, things are looking bad, because that would scare the crap out of a lot of people. So, you know, they kind of have to have an optimistic outlook. So that's why I say, you know, do you want to really 100% put your faith in that a recession is avoidable? We have to understand that it is very likely to occur. And the reason I say this is because the Federal Reserve has two main jobs price stability and making sure that unemployment doesn't go high. Now, if you're in the push and profit program and you're in the private group, then you understand, you guys understand how to read between the lines and understand that the Federal Reserve is in a very tight spot right now. Because on one end, they don't want unemployment to get too high and cause a recession, but on the other end, they kind of need the unemployment rate to go up just a little bit to cool off inflation, hence why they're raising rates, a tricky spot, right? Right? And guess what? Guess who's going to win in this situation? Quick hint, not the stock market. Now, does that mean that Tesla stock won't have any more rallies? Absolutely not, right? That's not what I'm saying at all. In fact, during a bear market, there are a ton of rallies, right? The problem is the red days are much more painful, much more bloodier than the rallies. And this is what throws a lot of people off when it comes to investing and trading in the market. Rallies do occur in the bear market. So yeah, the, you know, Tesla stock may go up a little bit, but guess what? In the next coming quarters, things are gonna be a little bit tougher and we may see some more pressure on the overall market. Now guys, I also wanna point something out that I find very interesting and that is that over 90% of people that watch my channel are not subscribed. So if you're watching this video right now and you see value in the content, consider, you know, maybe tapping that subscribe button if you find value with the content. Now, all jokes aside, something I do wanna share with you guys that you guys will probably find interesting is that from 1929 to 2021, the stock market having two consecutive years of losses has been only a 9% chance. Now, the chances are slim, but that doesn't mean that it can't happen again. You just never know. Now, I also want you guys a note that the stock market is not always 100% correlated to Main Street. And although Main Street is most likely going to suffer in 2023, that doesn't mean that the stock market is going to go down in 2023, as we may actually see some optimism as we get closer to 2024, with the reason being that, you know, investors may start pouring in money with the news of quantitative easing taking place, where the Federal Reserve starts kind of loosening their monetary policies. Well, that's good news. 
By the way, guys, make sure to check out the links in the description below or look into the pinned comments because there is a 60% off coupon code for the Push and Profit program where I talk about what stocks I'm watching and the reason why in our daily briefings along with what's going on in the overall economy so if you're trying to stay tuned in then definitely take advantage of that offer it does expire this christmas there's nothing more i could ask for this christmas now guys bringing it specifically back to tesla there may be a notable rally with the announcement of the gigafactory in mexico and of course overall the more gigafactories that there are being announced the better this is overall for tesla because this is going to help the demand that we have for tesla now i personally think that elon Elon Musk should have been had a gigafactory in Mexico specifically because the wages are significantly lower. Now guys, I'm not all about exploiting labor. I think globalization is actually a good thing. It's actually good for both Tesla and the people in the Mexico area because guess what? Tesla can now have workers at a significantly lower wage and the workers in that area overall are going to have wage increases because guess what? Now with Tesla bringing their company, other companies are going to have to compete and bring their wages up. So it's actually a win-win. With that being said, it does seem like there's going to be some turbulence for Tesla, but as a trader, as long as you're mitigating your risk and exploiting the opportunities, then you should be fine. Look, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Make sure to check out this last video if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys on that next video. Take care. <laughs>